What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Zamir from XTC Tunes. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can back up your Groove Agent files, all the drum kits that you have created so far, right? Because sometimes you may want to upgrade your computer or maybe your computer is going to crash and you want to save all your files before that happen, alright? Okay, and I'm also going to show you guys how you can import your files from a different computer. So for instance, let's say you're backing up your data right now, all the track preset backed up to a different folder. Now you have a different computer and you want to make sure that you have transferred all the track preset to a, to a new folder in your new computer. Sometimes when you open Cubase and when you open that track preset, you may not be able to see all the files. So I'm going to show you guys what you can do in that kind of situation. All right. Okay. Now you need to make sure that you know where your presets are saved. So right now I'm going to go to user presets, go to VST instrument and you can see these are my presets that I've created, right? So I'm gonna right click on it and go to show in Explorer and it's gonna bring up this window. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same as well for Mac. So for Mac users, I'm so sorry, I've never used Mac before, so I'm not really sure how you can find your Explorer, but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be easy as well, right? So these are my presets and let's say if I want to bring some of my preset from a different computer, I'm going to go to a different folder now and just, just drag. Let's say this is a drum kit from a different computer and I want to bring it to my current computer. I can just drag this one and drop it here. And when I go here, I can see that I have this drum kit tutorial is already loaded here, right? But when I click on it, you guys can see that there are a couple of files missing, all right? And now it's actually kind of searching for it. It doesn't know where it can find the file yet, right? Okay, but you can see that I have already added the path before, like this E drive battery sample. This is where I save all my samples. It's already showing the directory here. However, when you open it, you may not be able to see this right now. Okay, so I'm going to close this one. If you get the earlier window for you to search for the files, you may just click on the directory and search for it. However, if you don't see that window, you can go here and click on find missing samples, all right? The best part about this, you only have to do this one time because it will remember where is your directory. So the next time you load any of the samples, it's going to directly go and find them. Okay, click on this folder and now you can go ahead and find the directory of your samples, whichever the folder is, right? Re samples. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to select folder and I'm going to hit the plus sign so now Groove Agent will know where to look for these files right and then you can just click on the search button it's gonna go ahead and scan those files and you can add as many folders that you want so currently I added another folder above here because I wanted to quickly search for this file it's gonna take some time so you got to be patient so now you can see that the samples are there and everything else that supposed to be in this kit is available here okay and I also showed you guys another way to save your kit right the one that will be appearing in here right if you want to find a folder from here so just right click on it and go to show in Explorer so you're gonna see this presets right here just follow the step earlier and you can can actually save them in the correct folder and I'm going to show you guys another cool thing that you can do with Groove Agent. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how you can create note repeat with Groove Agent SE. I made a video about this before, but I just want to include this in this video so that you don't have to go and search for that other video, all right? So I'm going to go to Groove Agent now. Let's say this is a sample that you want to have repeat, note repeat, right? So you have to, so you have to make sure to copy this sample to a different pad. So you just press Alt and drag it to a different pad let's say you want to have a couple of note repeats just copy them again as many note repeat that you want okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the cell on the pad here make sure it's highlighted and then you go to midi effects now we're going to click on the rudiments all right so rudiments you can see that it's actually kind of like a flaming effects right if this is what you want you can keep this as it is i like to go to the row you can see that it is rolling, right? This is what we want, okay? And you can also click on the sync button and now you got a value. So you can maybe select 16 note repeat, right? And this one, let's 
activate it and I'm gonna roll and go to sync let's change this to 30 seconds okay okay that's cool how about this one I want to have a triplet pattern let's have a triplet yeah okay this is a flam so make sure to change it to roll okay and I'm gonna go to the key editor real quick so you gotta know which note is which right so now I'm gonna create a simple pattern like that and another pattern this is a 16 this is a triplet note this is 30 second note and this is the 16 note so let's have that sorry wrong sample okay now let's have a triplet or 30 second note okay okay and now I want to do something even more cooler now I want I want this pitch to go down when it's rolling so I'm gonna go to the note expression here okay I'm gonna click on tuning if you're using an older version of Cubase you can just double click on this MIDI note the note expression tool window will appear here but I think from Cubase 12 onwards when we double click on this it's gonna delete the note right so you have to make sure to go to you just right click on this and go to show note expression data make sure that this is checked and click on it now you can double click on this and you'll get this window then uh, we have already checked the tuning and I'm gonna just draw a line make sure you disable the, the snap okay now when I play this note that's a cool effect that I want and I can also bring this up like, like that not too low let's see cool okay now when you select a couple of notes like this and double click on it and you're gonna see all the notes here so maybe if you want to change the pitch like that you can do that as well okay that's kind of cool effect that you can use for note repeat okay you can also like roll your snares let's copy this and I'm gonna go to MIDI effects active go to roll sync let me change it to maybe 16 triplet okay now the cool things that you can do is you can humanize them as well yeah, this is more humanized right yeah let's let's use that I'm gonna go and yeah and if you like this hi-hat pattern now what you can do is you can obviously go to here go to pattern and save them like so okay you can save this pattern however the note expression data will not be stored together let's say you have already saved this pattern and you want to use in a, in a different project you can just drag it to the project window and then you can use the node expression to create that pitch shift effect all right so that's it for today guys i hope you guys find value in this video if you guys did please make sure to subscribe turn on notification smash the like button and share this video to everybody thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video